Hello guys, it is Ryan here from Ants America, and um, I'm here recording a YouTube video teaching you guys how to make a very simple formicarium for your new ants colony. So this is for um, the type of colony that um, is very new. Uh, by new I mean one queen, or whatever amount of queens you have, with ten or less workers about. It's supposed to be a very small place. So, um... For this small place, you're going to need these supplies. You're going to need baby powder on the top right corner. And we'll go in on them and I'll just show you. So you're going to need Johnson's baby powder. You don't need Johnson's, just need some baby powder. You're going to need some Q-tips. I picked two, because one for applying, one for cleaning. Need some scissors. You're going to need some rubber bands. You're going to need this. You probably don't know what this is. Um, it's for coffee. Um, nowadays they have the Keurig machine, so you don't really need these anymore, but this is what you do to filter your coffee, so your parents probably would have that, so you need one of those. You're going to need your ants. Uh, we'll give a little side look in on them. I don't really want to open the lid yet. And uh, you're going to need some things, so if your ants escape, you can grab them really quick. Test tube to grab them. Uh, tweezers and some cleanup supplies. So this is everything you're going to need for this um, ant experiment. And uh, so let's get started. Um, so since I am recording and doing this, it's going to be pretty tough, but we're going to be able to do this. So step one is you're going to take this baby powder right here, unscrew the lid, and you're going to rub one of your Q-tips on the top, and you're going to get baby powder and then rub it on the sides of the container right here rub it on those sides like that and then you're going to set it down get more and then keep doing that on the sides until you get um, a good amount so I'm going to pause the video and do that really quick and then show you guys um, exactly what I did so one second guys okay guys so I don't know if you can tell but I haven't applied it yet so what I did was I took my paper towel and I um, put baby powder on the paper towel from here. So we're gonna seal that shut and then um, apply it uh, with the um, Q-tip here. We're gonna apply it on the container. So let me do that really quick. Okay guys, so you can now see that the rim has been covered just like this. Um, if you don't have escape artist ants, which pavement ants aren't really escape artists. But we're gonna look in here and I'm gonna see if you notice something. We're just gonna have a nice look at our I don't know why it's not focusing, but um, I don't know if you can see it yet. There is an ant in here already. It was a stray ant in my basement that crawled into here. And um, I'm going to try and zoom in on him and get a nice focused look. Let me try and... It's not focusing, is it? It's just fo focusing on the texture of the ground. But, um, so, yeah, there's an ant in there already, um, which isn't good, because he's not part of my colony, so I'm going to have to get him out really quick. And, uh, so this next step, I'm going to get him out and then do the next step at the same time, which is, um, cleaning out with a cotton ball all the, uh, excess. You see on that wall right there on the right, yeah, there's some excess stuff that's not supposed to be there, so I'll clear that out. And, yeah, give me one second, guys. Okay, guys, so I have now cleaned out the container. Um, so now there's barely any stuff on the sides. There's still a little bit, but that's okay. And the stray ant has been removed from the, um, area. So now our next step were to be cutting this up and putting the rubber band on to make sure it's safe. So I will show you how to do that really quick. So I cut this in the shape of a square due to, uh, the shape of my container. And what it's going to do, it's going to have just a laying piece on the edge where you're going to put a rubber band over and I'll show you what to do with that in one second. Oh, sorry guys. So that's what it's going to look like. It's just going to keep a seal here so they can't crawl through the edges. And then the point of this is so they can breathe. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much the point of this. Okay, so the next step will be getting your ants into it and making sure it's all safe and sealing it off. So let's do that step in a minute. Okay guys, I'm sorry for the technical difficulties. We had a few blank screens going on, but I think we fixed it. Um, so now we have, uh, I'm gonna, I haven't put them in yet, I'm gonna show you the colony first. Uh, so to check, 
going to lift it up and just make sure we have uh, no ants in the cotton part. Then I'm going to set that down. Put this right there. Sorry, guys. I really don't want to mess this up. Check the cotton to make sure it's, everything's good. Um, um, if I drop the phone, um, it's because I don't want any of my ants to get out. So that's our colony. A lot of larvae. Four queens. And we have four workers. And maybe even five workers, I think. I think it's four, though. I haven't looked in a little while. Take a nice zoom in. Right, we got a worker that's trying to get out. So I'm going to have to cover up. Let's see if he's still up there. He's right there. Okay, guys. So let me pause the video. I'm going to put them in there now. Alrighty. Okay, guys. So I have successfully transferred almost all of them. Um, for some reason, the larvae got pretty scattered during this, but you can see they're all going to move it to a corner. And this is going to be their home for a little while. Um, I'm going to try and get a good... Oh, sorry. A good brightness. Uh... Let's, sorry about that, guys. Trying to get a good... Uh, let's back up a little bit. Get a good focus. Wow, right there, guys. Perfect focus. And you can see the queen in the practical middle of the camera grooming herself. Uh, that is a queen. So we have one escapee I just found. Um, I, while well, trying to get rid of them, and not get rid of them, sorry, to move them into here. Well, we have two escapees. That's fun to know. Okay, well, let's get them all back in to the helm. So if we look up really quick, we're gonna find our uh, baby powder barrier is doing pretty well. We have a ant moving a larvae right now. So wherever that larvae is going to go is where the new home is going to be for these um, these ants. And it looks like this corner is going to be the home. Not a bad spot. Not a bad spot at all, guys. So they're going to be moving all the larvae for the next few minutes. And, um, so this is how you would build your own nest. You just got to find a good container. This is a tiny little square. and give a quick finger representation. So it's very tiny. Now that's my finger right next to it. Um, so what I'm noticing is that some of the ants I'm finding on the ground aren't mine. They are, um, ants from my house because there's ants in everybody's house but um so yeah I thought it was my aunt but that one's was not so I let that go but this one let me count my workers actually there's one two three four wait no one two three one two three four where's the fifth one there should be five workers oh I'm so dumb there's a guy in the tube still so I'm going to have to try and oh Oops. Gonna have to nudge him in there. Come on, buddy. He does not want to move. Okay, so I'm gonna try something else. Give me one second, guys. Okay, so this guy ain't coming out. Um, so I'm going to have to pause the video to get him in here. One second, guys. I'm sorry about this. Continue this recording of just my colony right here. I love these guys. They're adorable. Um, so once again, please get a name for them. And uh, I'm just going to give you a quick overview. 
We'll have to zoom out. Sorry about that, guys. Very blurry. So this is an overview of this nest. Um, this is a hand-sized representation on the ground. So it's a decently sized nest. But, yeah. That's pretty much it. I'm probably going to throw a few things in here to give them something to live under. Um, because having them barrel like this, they will actually uh, have less chance of laying eggs. Giving them dirt, even, yeah, dirt works, um, but then you won't see them by chance. Uh, so, you have to decide what you want to give them. But you can choose that uh, when you're ready. I'm probably just going to throw in a few rocks or something. I might put a layer of sand in one corner. I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but I'll decide that when I'm ready. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is Ants America. Goodbye.